bitch with some confidence. A girl with an ego as big as mine. And if she ain't got it, she gotta go. I need a mansion with 80 rooms. Comes with a chef in the maid. Right now I'm at a park, I thought it's a nice sunny day. And this video is gonna be about the seven things you need to avoid when doing like a cutting diet. Like the things that a lot of people don't think about but they should, because some of them are basic and some of them are more advanced. So stay tuned, because throughout this video I'm gonna scatter all the seven things I said to avoid for like doing a cutting diet. All right, none of these seven kind of things to avoid are gonna be any particular order, but I feel like there is a lot that a lot of people kind of overlook and I feel like this one is one which is people that switch with their routine way too much like the cutting plan they're doing it for like maybe two three weeks and then all already they're already thinking okay I need to switch it up like unless you stick with it for like a fair amount of time you're not even gonna know if it's working or not so people that constantly change every single week it's not a good look trust me you need to at least stick with it for at least you know at least four weeks minimum I personally said eight before you can see if there's a difference but a lot of people want to change it just to because you're ahead of a new routine to do or a new fad before we carry on with this video can we just take a moment to enjoy the scenery for those of you that are anything like me that all you do is kind of go to work and you're in the office all day or then you go to the gym and then you're at home so you really miss that natural breathing fresh air like i haven't smelled trees in ages like smell pines <laughs> anyways let's keep going with this video All right, here's a major one. How do you deal with bad days? If you have a bad day, fair enough. Don't just write it off though. For the rest of that day, try and eat good. Don't just think, okay, I'm gonna eat any sort of crap today purely because I've already messed up. Cause that's where you really will fall on. Uh, probably gonna leave now, it's gonna be chilly. We're about to go on our way. Took a lot of photos of the stuff. And I didn't realize like how like good like natural lighting is. Now I know like why all these uh, bigger YouTubers always take their photos outside and stuff. Cause when you get natural light rather than just lights from every angle in your house, you look so much leaner. Cause just, just, just look at the arm. Yeah, from now on, like when it's sunny, I'm definitely gonna come outside and get some good shots. But anyway, let's get on with the rest of this video because I want to give you guys these seven tips, but I'm also gonna sprinkle it out throughout the video, so we're still gonna go gym and stuff like that. So it's still like an entertaining vlog, but at the same time, I'm answering what are the seven things to avoid? Seven. I need a lot. I need the whole fucking globe. I will not settle for anything less than a toilet that's made out of gold. I want my shit to go down. All right, guys, I'm back home now. So what I'm about to do is cook. So that leads me on to the next one. A lot of people don't realize that they're under eating. Like I have a prime example for this. Like my boy, he was under eating for a long period of time, but he was persistent that that was the calories that he had to eat. He kept sticking to it for months and months and months. But then finally, I got him to actually eat like 1900 calories. That's like 700 calories higher, but with like a good balanced diet and like getting a bit of cardio. And he noticed that he started to lose weight and look better. When he was having the 1200 calories, he was technically losing weight. The scale was going down, but in the mirror, you don't look that different because it's kind of that skinny fat kind of problem. So that's definitely one thing that everyone needs to realize that just because you're under eating or you're eating quite low bit of calories, doesn't mean you're cutting effectively. Like like you may be going down on the scales, but who cares about the scales? At the end of the day, if you step to the scales tomorrow and you're like six pounds down, but in the mirror you look exactly the same or worse off, then obviously the scales mean nothing. What you need to do is judge it on your appearance. If I'm not mistaken, I think that brings us up to three so far, so we're slowly getting through it. And right now, here is some of the stuff I'm trying to edit. This is like my little clothing thing I'm gonna be bringing out soon. I'm gonna have loads of different kind of quirky clothing. Anyway, I'm about to cook. Before we carry on with the rest of the questions, let's see what I got for my protein. Discount code in the description box if you want anything from them. Another one of these bottles. Two of them I had broke. One of them I left at the gym and they threw it away. So I need to get another one. Other things I've got in the protein pancake mix come super omega 3. Uh, the next thing is this vitamin B complex. For those of you who don't know, I have like RSI in my hand. It's called repetitive strain injury. It's from all this editing and all this computer work I've been doing over the years. Vitamin B6 and B12 really are meant to try and help. So I'm trying to think of any little thing that can help my hands because it really hurts at times. Next thing up is daily vitamins. And the last thing is some peanut butter. God, it's been a busy day, man. Getting kind of sleepy now. If anything, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the rest of the tips. Oh. I, I, I need the witches. I'm talking guap that allows you to burn all the bridges. I want to flex on the bitches that carry me. Treating me like I ain't worthy. Look, look at my numbers. They going up like the temp in the summer. Back home now from work. I'm about to go to the gym in probably about 20, 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is do like a nice raw kind of gym session and talk you guys through it. This comes about from a comment I read in the previous video, but you mentioned like maybe adding a bit more gym clips back. I've been doing a lot of food related videos and I do read the comments and I do know. So this is what I'm gonna do. Before I do that, I'm gonna finish off these seven tips. 
Alright, let's blast through these questions. I've been making you guys wait long enough as it is. The next one I'm going to talk about is, is believing in damn magic. And by that, I mean relying on supplements to do most of the work for you. You don't know how many times in a week I get quizzed about do fat burners work or what fat burners you think I should get. Stop trying to substitute putting in the actual work and hoping that some magic bean store pills will do most of it for you. Anything in life here, yeah, you have to actually put in the effort. So if you put in the actual effort and physically work hard, you will see results. Number five. Don't give in to temptation, this is like a big one you need to avoid, is temptation, but specifically from relationships, whether it be a girlfriend, someone you're dating casually, or even friends, these three things for me anyway are hard, especially when you like dating, a lot of the times you almost feel like you're obligated to eat at, so you end up eating something a bit like a burger, it can mess up like a good few days of progress, but realistically there is lower calorie options, you can make the choice, like eat smart, look at the menu option, I used to always fall into this trap, but now I'm trying to put more focus on my nutrition and my training and try and, you know, make some progress. This is another one which is very, very, very common, is assuming that all foods that contain fat are gonna make you fat. Like, I know a lot of people that constantly say that in their diet, they have virtually no fats because they don't want to get fat. And that's not necessarily true. Like, at the end of the day, it comes down to calories. Like, yeah, of the more, like, macronutrients is out of protein, carbs, and fats. Fats contain the most calories, yes. But that doesn't mean that all foods that contain fat are bad for you. At the end of the day, what it comes down to is not just a certain macro, not a certain protein, not a certain carb, not a certain fat. It's the total calories. Right, finally, before I go to the gym and take you guys with me, the number seven pretend I have an extra two fingers. Number seven is your carbs are way too low. Like a lot of people consistently just have low carbs. It can have many different impacts. When you don't have carbs, one, it's hard to get a pump. Two, you have less energy in this gym, which means your training sessions aren't gonna be as optimal as they could be, which means you're gonna make less progress as you would normally make. And also, it has other effects inside your body, like your metabolism, leptin levels. This is the reason why a lot of people say to have refeed days, because every so often, when you had a long period of time just cutting low calories, low carbs, your metabolism takes a hit, your metabolism slows down, and as you begin to lose weight you're not really gonna be burning as much fat as you potentially could have been all right and that was the whole seven things i've said that you should definitely avoid if there's like a big major one i've missed out be sure to let me know in the comments but anyway what i'm about to do now is go to the gym so i'll see you guys in the car what is good people we are on the way to the well we're actually in the gym car park right now just gonna sip on a little bit of pre-workout before i go inside in for those of my subscribers that are from the UK, yeah, who are you guys with? Are you team P Money? Are you team Dot Rotten? Or K Coke? Or Nines? For me right now, the musicians that I'm on the sides of, K Coke over Nines, I always thought K Coke was sick. And for Dot Rotten and P Money, I prefer P Money's songs, but they're both good rappers, or lyricists, I should say. It's currently 20 past 10, so it's pretty late. I felt like just not coming today so much, but I wanted to make sure I came and did my workout. Anyway, gym time. Okay, what we're aiming to do is uh, three sets of eight kg, uh, probably around six to eight reps. It has been a very long time since I've done a voiceover, but I wanted to keep this workout nice and raw. I didn't want to do like a fancy edit, and the gym itself was actually pretty loud. Like I do speak in the video, but it was just so loud you probably can't hear me that well. So let's just go for this video now. Uh, the first thing, this was my pull day. So if you don't know already, I do like a five day split. It's push day, pull day, leg day. Then I do a bit of everything, then leg day again. For the pull day, started off with a barbell row. I did it for 80 kg. Ended up doing three, I think almost even four sets of 80 kg. And I was doing like six to eight reps. Uh, after that, I moved on to doing some rack pulls. Uh, I didn't lift as heavy as normal because I just felt so drained. Normally I lift around 140 kg. I just didn't have the energy in me today. My lower back was killing me. And throughout the workout, I was just a little bit more drained than usual. So even on like uh, the T-bar rows, normally I do a minimum of 60 kg, which is three plates on there. But right there, I've got 55 kg. And on screen right now, I'm talking about how I normally lift heavier. So I'm basically telling you what I'm gonna tell you right now. But it is what it is, at the end of the day, sometimes you, you do feel a bit more drained than normal. Not every gym session is gonna be absolutely perfect, you feel fully energized. And because it was so late in the day, the pre-workout I had before gym, I, I, I barely had any, I just sprinkled it. Cause I did have work tomorrow, so I didn't wanna like be wired for the rest of the night. By the way, on this exercise, it's always good to like treat your hands like hooks and kind of pull with your elbows, like that. 
down screen, I had like doing some of the lap pull downs. I usually always use the D handle and just kind of like squeezing. It's one of my strongest exercises. So, but what I always do when I do lap pull downs is I always aim like I'm pulling with my elbow, and it's a really good way of doing it. So it's like you're pulling down, and you really can feel in your lats. After that, I went on to doing the rear delt flies. Um, normally, in my routine, I normally have two other back movements, which is the seated row and sometimes I do pull-ups to warm up but I didn't do those today because it was just running short on time and I didn't want to stay at the gym way too late and then on my pull day I also did two bicep movements so I did bicep curls with the easy bar I like feeling pumped when I do this so I kind of lean forward and make sure I get a good like range of motion because I found that when I leave back I don't really get as much tension on it whereas when you leave forward you're kind of fighting gravity more so you feel it more and then after that I wanted to do hammer dumbbell curls and so obviously that's just when you just have that kind of grip. And then after that I did a drop set and just used like 14 kg. Originally I was using 20. But anyways people, thanks for watching this video and stay on with the rest of the vlog. I started listening to your second dub like rah, this is gonna be heavy blood. Then I thought, wait, lying about me hitting girls again. And you said that I ready blood. Why are you repeating it? That just shows you ain't ready blood. You ain't even aiming steady blood. I don't mind all your fat jokes. My next dub exposes how much you need to get the Betty blood. No, my G, you don't roll like me. Wise man wearing clothes like me. Nobody cared for your first dub. They said your real talk was hard only because you flowed like me. You're a joke, my G. All right, workout done. We are leaving it for you. The thing I do like about these late night sessions is that it's just me and the weights, there's like nothing distraction. Yep, well the only distraction technically is filming, but other than that, it's all good. Also, by the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to thumbs up and let me know below if you like the flow of this video. If not, still let me know below, I like knowing feedback regardless, good or bad, as long as it's constructive. But anyway, about to go home, I'm feeling so drained. I was just checking my Snapchats and this is what I just got DM'd. Those of you that saw the previous meal prep video, you probably recognise this. Isn't that pretty cool? The dude's making my recipe. I think things like that are pretty cool. I get sent people that do my meals all the time. Uh, recently it's been the protein pizzas, the wraps I used to always get. I used to always get rice cakes. I also, basically anything that's a bit new, a lot of people are always sending me and I think it's pretty cool. So keep on doing that guys. All right people, we've came to the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And right now I'm about to eat a muscle food protein pizza because I am starving. And I just haven't got the energy to cook right now. So like, comment, subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Hit the notification button and thumbs up. And also share with a friend. Anyways, I'm gone. Stay game games. <laughs>